Welcome to the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. Like and follow if you enjoy this. Our match today is Tony Drago from Malta versus Oscar Dominguez from USA. It's a race to nine, alternate break, nine balls racked on the spot. Three object balls must go past the head string for a legal break. Three consecutive fouls by the same player is loss of game. I'm Earl Strickland for the Billiard Network. Here's Drago. He's broke. He won the lag. Broke already. And he's ready to shoot. He won't waste any time, that's for sure. Put some right on that one. Two rails. He'll put some left on this and go two rails somehow. Get on this ball. And he's kind of... He's all right. If it goes past the, the nine ball, yeah, he'll just draw out. He'll just draw right out like that a little bit. Goes right. He'll put a little bit of left on this and draw over to the rail. Ooh, and he miscued and fluked it. Wow. It might be his day today, ladies and gentlemen, with that shot. <laughs> He's a little bit uh, amazed himself, I think. <laughs> I can't tell. He might just follow this two rails and shoot the eight in the side. Or he might follow it and come back and play for the corner or draw straight back like that. He's an excellent drawer of the ball, shots like that. He'll just roll this in with a little bit of left, come back to the middle of the table. Just like that. He'll put a little bit of right on this and just pop it a little bit. Like that. Good shot. But Oscar's not saying good shot on the fluke. One nothing, Drago. Dominguez from the left side, left bottom. Doesn't want to foul the break, remember. And he didn't make anything either. I can't tell. I think he had a legal break, though, because the three just got back. Drago will have to roll out somehow, for sure, or kick at the ball. A lot of times, uh, players will kick at these shot sometimes to try, to try to get lucky instead of rolling out and letting you lock them up. But that one wasn't that good to kick. Let's see, he's going to bank the one ball over by the three ball, maybe. Or thin the one, come down behind the two, nine, and five somehow with right. Like that. That's the right shot. And he hit it pretty damn good, I'll tell you that. Wow. He's going to swerve. Since that's what they call it. Wow, how good did he hit that? The swerve. He just put a lot of right on it, swerved right around it, and he hit it real good to stop the ball right there. Like a marble. Stopped it dead. He hit that so good. Good shot. Now he's got some kind of safety probably. Or he can try to pocket that six ball somehow or another. It's not impossible to play it with the two ball. Play a carom off the one, onto the two, the two into the six. That shot's there, but you don't know what's going to happen after exactly. The one's going to hit the five. It looks like he's got to hit it with a little bit of right spin on it to make it hit the six ball. And he's got to hit the one pretty thin, so it's tricky. Uh, he could bank the one in between the nine and the five and just roll the ball like and try to let it gather the cue ball and, and snooker him with the two and the nine and the five somehow. He played the shot I said in the beginning, tried to play the six ball. He left this kind of really precarious. <clears throat> He'll just roll this in and try to get something on the two. He wants to get away from the three. That's good. Now he'll play a combination. He might hit this kind of hard. And he should have. He should have hit it kind of. He should have. I think I would have slammed that, maybe. He tried to finesse it. Maybe he can see the edge of it. He's going to just thin it and try to go behind the three. 
you got to hurry up and, and come and take the shot with him because he shoots so fast. He hit that perfect. Oscar might use his jump cue here. With some kind of jump stick. He may have a phenolic ferrule if he's jumping with this. Some kind of phenolic ferrule, probably. So it don't look that short. He'll just jump and try to make it or try to, try to hit it. And there he fluked the five ball in. He returned the favor on him fluking the five while ago. Everybody's apologizing, but nobody means it, I don't think. Nah. You know, how can you? As desperate as this game is, the people in it. <laughs> He's going to draw back, try to get a little angle or straight in on the three. Like that. He'll put a little left bottom on this and probably stun towards the rail. Might hit the rail. He'll probably hit the rail on this shot. He wants to be a little aggressive with this, though. Doesn't want to baby it like that. So he can get the right shot on the five ball to come down on the seven ball. He's perfect here. He'll just roll with straight top. He'll just hit the side rail like that. And, and leave him a little bit of angle. He might have left a little more angle than he liked, but he's still all right. He'll go back and forth now, I think. He'll go straight, or he'll put a lot of spin and draw it to the side rail, or he'll go all the way down and back like that. Perfect. These rails are nice for that kind of shot. Usually on a slow table, you might not go one rail on that, two rails in it. He's gonna go two rails here with left bottom. Boom, boom, two rails. It looks like it's gonna be one, one. He'll just stop there, maybe with a little bit of right bottom, might have a little bit of angle, and he'll just let the cue ball move over a little. One, one, Drago to break. I can hardly recognize him, his hair turning gray. Left side, his break may be his weakness for sure. There's no doubt that his break is not as good as his game. That's for sure. That's 55, I'm 59. Huh. Oscar's 35. 20 years difference in age in this match, that's a lot. <clears throat> he'll put a lot of spin on this or he'll just come straight down the table and try to play some kind of safety. Well, he played the safe right away. That might be the smartest shot right there, I'll guarantee you. I see there, he had a shot to pocket the ball and he played safe. And that's, a lot of times that's, that's the right shot. It was easier to play that safe than it would on the two. So, a very clever shot. And he's got a tough kick. He'll go side rail and go to the bottom rail and try to come into it and hit it. That makes the ball a little bit bigger that way. Good shot. Excellent kick. He left his shot, but I don't know if he can dig into it enough to get the nine out of the way and get a shot on the two. I think he can, but it's going to be difficult still to get a shot on the two, I think. I think the cue ball will come out some funny way. He's got to hit dead underneath it to stop it. I knew it would do that right there. I've, I've had that shot a hundred times at least, or more. I'd say 500. And it does the same thing over and over. He could play safe, just dink it, go behind the six, or bank the ball in. Play the bank, good shot. That was a good shot, aggressive shot. This one's kind of tricky. He'll shoot it real slow. And he won't go very far at all because he's got just enough room to shoot it death slow and stay right there and get an angle to go two rails, come back for the five ball. Oscar's a good player. I played him. He's, he can't do that then. Looking from this angle, it might be, have a little too much angle. Still looks like to me he could death slow roll it, but he's gonna jack up and pop it somehow and go down table, straight down the table, and he wound up missing it. Took his eye off of it. 
That shot is missed easily because uh, you're really worried about the cue ball in that particular shot. All you can do here is just thin the ball, go around the rails, or bank the ball back down. Yep, just thin it, go around the rails like that. Boy, he hit that good. <laughs> he really did. He hit that so thin, it was unreal. His, uh, his eyes are not bad, I'll tell you that. Number 55, wow. He'll jump this, I think, or just slow kick it and barely hit it. These rails are kind of boingy. I think he can just get past the side and, and hit it. On, on uh, any other table, I don't think he could hit past the side and hit the ball if he hit it slow. Any other table, you'd have to hit it kind of firm and draw the ball a little bit to hit this ball. I think he can kick it real slow and just barely touch it. Shooting just past the side pocket. That's what he wants to do. Real slow. Just like that. Thing is, is he didn't touch it. He touched the other ball. <laughs> he almost knocked it dead in the corner, but it's not. He'll just thin this and send him right back down there where he had him. These former snooker players are geniuses at these safeties. They've played a lot of good safeties in their life playing snooker. You can believe that. He didn't get that one, though. He gave him a little air, a little, not much. He still hit that pretty good. I'll tell you that. He should just slow roll this and try to bank it just underneath the eight ball with speed. Don't overhit it. Just how try to hit it with speed and use the nine and the eight somehow. That's what he tried to do, get it over there by the side rail somehow, but he left it short. He'll just cut this in, put a lot of left on it, go back and forth like that. Now he'll draw this, or he'll put a lot of left on it and spin two rails. I thought he might draw that one. Now he'll put a lot of spin, or he'll put it straight and go up and down. He likes slow rolling them. See, he almost trapped himself getting on top of that eight ball. He'll follow this with straight top. Or he's got to stun it somehow, real firm. Real stun it. Now he's rolled it with spin. Two rails. Keeps getting close to that eight. He'll draw this with right or go around the rails. Draw it with right. Or he'll f draw this with left, shoot it in the side. He hit it a little bit harder than he liked. And he's all right. That shows it right there. A little bit of left, roll it in. 2-1 Drago. Dominguez to break from the left side, left bottom. Dominguez, 35 years old, and Drago's 55. I was saying about the age difference. When I play in tournaments, there's a lot of age difference. It's like 30 years sometimes, 35 years. You're playing a guy, he'll be 20, I'll be 59. He broke, he made a ball, it's a legal break. He's got a shot on one, he's got a good shot. He just got to fire one ball in with bottom and draw back a little bit maybe. He just put his extension on his cue. Maybe he felt the cue wasn't heavy enough. He's going a little bit heavier cue now and longer. A lot of bottom and just hit it firm. Kill the ball right there, draw it back a little. That's good, he hit that really well, he drew back. Looks like maybe he can kill the ball right there with a lot of left bottom and just stand in the middle of the table where he'll draw over off the side rail and come back. Yeah, he can kill it right there like that. I'm glad that overhead gave me that angle. Now he'll stun this a little bit or roll it with left, a lot of left on it. Come back to the middle of the table. Or he'll come. 
He didn't want to go all the way over, really. But he's going to have to play the eight to the short side now, maybe. Or pinball the ball three rails. He can do that. He can draw off with left bottom, a lot of left bottom, and just draw off like that. Now, he hit this with a lot of right bottom. He'll go one, two, three. He should go four rails, maybe. See how he's looking? That's why he's going to shoot the eight in the right corner there. He's going to put a lot of right bottom. He'll pop it kind of firm. He'll use the rails like that. It's one thing I like about this table. You can do a lot of weird shots like that. He can roll this and bounce off and shoot it in the side or put a lot of right and come out and shoot it in either corner. And that's the one he chose to come out and shoot it in the corner. Good shot. That's what I would have done. He'll roll this just a little bit of left like that. 2-2. Two, two. Drago to break. Left side needs a little more power. He's trying to finesse him in. He's fouled the break. Well, he got two in. Okay. So that made it legal. He didn't get but one ball back, but he got two in. He'll play safe here, he thin the one ball, knock the one ball over there, go down table. He's got a little bit of a good roll there off that. Oscar's going immediately for the, immediately for the jump, whatever kind of jump cue that is, I don't know what it is. It's not a short cue. Must have a phenolic barrel, that's what he's got. He's gonna jump and try to make it and spin the cue ball around the rails with some right. He missed it, he's left. A little bit of a precarious shot. He'll shoot this in with a lot of right and just spin off or draw back for the side. Spin off like that. I knew that seven ball might be in the way and it was. And that makes this tricky now. He's got to kill it and play for the side pocket. Put a lot of right on it. And the cue ball's going to go between the nine and the three. And kill it over here for the side pocket. Beautiful shot. He played that nice. Now just roll forward a little. Real easy. Only oh, don't let it roll off. And he'll stop right there and use the bottom rail to come back down. He'll put straight top, come back down the middle of the table, shoot the seven in the corner down there. Beautiful. And the right top, bounce off, shoot the nine in the corner. A lot, most guys will get straight in on that seven and play it. He played it the way I do, put an angle and use the rail. Three, two, Drago leads. Dominguez to break, left side, left bottom, driving the cue ball to the side rail. And that's a legal break. I thought for a moment it wasn't going to be legal. And that two ball came back. And he's got a nice shot. He'll just roll down and shoot the three on the side. Looks like right where he went and looked. He'll put a little right top on it. And that'll make the cue ball move over a little bit more towards the rail. For you amateur players on these, some of these shots, you always you want to use spins to make the cue ball alter itself a little bit. Looks like it's going to be perfect, and it is. Now he'll just stop right there with bottom. He'll just kill it right there. And then he'll stop again. He might move forward, he might roll forward real easy or stop and kill it like that. This is the tricky shot. He wants an angle on this six ball. He wants to try to put a lot of spin on it. And go to the, and hit the bottom rail and the side rail and come back out to the middle. If the ball's frozen, it's a harder shot, but if it's not, it's not that hard. He'll put a lot of left on it. 
to spin like that. So he gets a little bit of angle on that six ball. Now he could play this straight down the table to the side rail with straight top, or he can spin around like he did a while ago, like that, and play it in the corner. He's under hit that a little bit. He's gonna have to go back and forth now, up and down the table. He actually should have went ahead and hit that hard and, and shot the seven in the other corner on his right here. He could have done that like he did the shot a while ago. He's gonna go up and down the table with straight top. Ooh, he hit it a little bit funny. He moved on it. And he got a little bit of a roll, looks like, with the leave. It's funny how you, when a guy hangs a ball up like that, and he leaves you absolutely nothing with one ball sitting there. It don't even make sense. I think he can get around it and get it, though. He's got to jack up a little bit and then put a lot of spin on it. He needs a late curve, though, I'll tell you that. He doesn't want it to curve right away. But I think he can just get it. Oh, he didn't jack up enough. That's really amazing that that happens in pool. A guy can hang a ball up and one ball, one ball can affect it like that. He'll put a little bit of left on this and just bounce out and shoot the eight in the side. He'll put a little bit of right bottom and just kill it right there. It'll float over just a little bit. He'll draw it to the rail. He'll draw it to the rail to be safe. Right bottom here and just draw. Wow, that was amazing. Three, th three, three. Drago breaking from the left side, left bottom. Wow. Balls are just raining in the pocket. He got a bad break, I think. Looks like the five ball came along and snookered him by a, a little bit. I played Drago once in the tournament, I think. I think I played him twice. I think he can bank this or something. And play safe at the same time. Not a bad play. Played, he, he beat me in the Whirlpool Masters one year in, in Holland. We're racing the eight. He had me seven to one. And I ran six straight racks and broke. And I had a Cosmo out and a ball came along and snookered me. I played safe and he locked me up and won the game and won beat me the match. I, it was amazing. I couldn't swallow a BB at one moment and I almost won the match. He's gonna thin this ball somehow, probably. The problem with this shot is if you don't execute it, you just, you sell completely out probably. He wants to thin it somehow or take a swing at it, bank it in the corner. And he did, he went for it and he hit it miserably. So he sold that out. He'll just put some left and come or right and go around these balls, the six and the nine. Perfect. We'll put a little bit of right on this. Bounce off. Can't tell with that. He'll go forward with a little bit of right top, maybe. Yep, like that. Two rails. He shoots so fast, you gotta hurry up. Straight top, bounce off the rail. You under hit that a little bit. And he'll put some, he'll use the rail a little like that. And he'll shoot it in the side, a little bit of right bottom. He might draw to the rail, I don't know. No, nope, just stayed right there. Not straight bottom and stop, probably. Stun it. Stun it over. 
4-3, Drago leads. Dominguez to break, left side, left bottom. Good break at this three ball. I think it's a, not a legal break. But he left him, he'll just thin this ball and bring it side rail and down behind the five and the six. Oh, he hit that one bad. I'm surprised he hit that one that poorly because he usually hits, executes those shots well, those thin safeties. That's a little bit another a little bit of a mistake after Dominguez fouled the break. He'll put left bottom on this. He might lightly draw it and shoot the three in the same corner as the two, or he might hit it hard and shoot the three over here in the left corner. He hit it hard. He tried to play that, but he, uh, he, did, he bailed out a little bit. He didn't stay with the shot. I do that in practice all the time. I do it in when I play matches, too, on shots. But it's a deceleration. He decelerated a little bit. He could just bank this in and draw it to the side rail and come down and shoot the four. See, he's looking where it goes past the six ball. But he wants to play safe. He's going to draw it underneath the six and the five somehow. Like that. That ain't bad. Got him with a nine ball. These rails are really live. He was playing using the six and the five, but it bounced out. He'll hit this with some right, a little bit of speed. He made it. Looks nope. Looked like when it came off, it was going in. We left him an easy shot here. I don't think the four goes past the eight, though. If it does, it's an easy out, maybe. But if it doesn't, he's straight in on this ball, looks like. You never can tell unless they pan. There you go. He panned in. Ooh, is he's, he's dead straight. Uh, he can follow down for the side pocket. That's what he's going to do. And he may have overhit it, and he did. Now he froze up against the, the four ball. Now he's put himself in jail, but he's probably got some kind of safety. He can thin it and go to the side rail and can use a nine ball. See where he's looking over there. That may be his only shot. Just straight ball, thin it, go to the side rail. Does it slow down or it's going to scratch? And he did. Wow. Never saw that coming. Of course, they never panned in where I could look at the shot either. Like this, like that. These. Overhead's terrible. I can't use it. I can't judge anything on the overhead. Now will put some left top, a little bit of left maybe, and just come back and bounce off like that. He wants a little angle on that six like that. See. Now he'll just put some right top, bounce over the seven. Must go past the eight. Just put some right top, bounce back over like that. Perfect. Now put a little bit of left bottom. No, he'll put straight top and bounce out. Oh, and he, he didn't think about that one. That shot's tricky sometimes. Wow. That gets him sometimes when he shoots too fast. Straight top, I think. And I do that too. I shoot too fast sometimes. So. Left bottom, draw off the rail. I just draw back. These guys don't use the rails much anymore. And put right top and just roll it in or draw it. He'll probably draw it, yeah, because he doesn't want it to roll off. Big miscue by the Drago there. Left bottom, left side, break. He's made a ball and he got three back, two or three. So this is a legal break on the shot, looks like. If he can pocket the one ball, he'll just make it and go two rails for the two in the same corner, or he's got to bank it. Nope, got two rails, the two in the same corner. It's like I said to start with. Now left bottom and draw out, shoot the three right here where we look. There we go. He'll stay right there kind of, or stun off the rail, because he says he wants that big angle on the four to float over for the five. 
He wants to try to get for the same corner on, as the shooting the four ball. Oh, he really didn't pay attention on that one. He should have uh, hit it with middle and came straight across on that shot. That shot's too tricky the way he tried to play it there. I mean, it can be done, but it's, I think the other shot might have been the more prudent play. Looks like maybe he could just draw straight back. Yep, there you go. Doesn't want to go too far, though. Yeah, he went a little bit too far. So he'll have to jack up and pop the ball and stun into the six and create something. He can't afford to just roll this shot because it won't, might not pan out the way he wants unless he can just roll it and touch the nine and shoot the six in the corner where that piece of chalk sits or jack up and hold the ball. Unless he can hold it right there for this other, the six on the other side. Now, I knew he had to jack up and pop into it and create something, and he did. He, he, he hit it really well because he can shoot the six right in the corner and draw over for the seven in the corner where he's standing over there. That's really the right way to play it. Or shoot it firm and bounce off and play the seven in the corner on his left. Nope, that's the right shot right there. Even though he came up a little short, it's still, I thought, was the right shot. Now, we'll just put a little bit of right top on this and just roll it in. See how he's wide in his stance? He's got to get real level on this shot. Or it'll do that. It'll skid a little bit, and you'll miss it. And look at this. He's dead left and stymied him <laughs> after a miss. He should kick this the other way. Tony, you got to kick this the other way. There you go, like that. He's got to hold it a little. Oh, this table looks to be a little bit tougher than the last one I commentated for sure. I think the cloth is a little bit older. The balls are not going in the pockets as easy on this table here, that's for sure. Or it's a little bit more humid in this venue. He'll draw this, I think, or just roll it with top and try to thin it like that. Wow. I don't think I would. I, I would have hit that hard and drew around, I think, because it looks like when the ball's frozen on the pockets like that. You've got to hit that shot good to get out a lot of times. Now you could hand it right back. I would cut this in the side. That way it gives you some kind of safe if you miss it a little bit. That's the right shot, unless he can cut it in the corner. He won't scratch. Oh, he banked it. Good shot. I'm surprised he banked that. That's a tough, tough what's a tougher shot? Actually, 5-4 Dominguez lead. Dominguez to break, left side, left bottom. And he's hit a good break, except that two balls landed in the carriest place. Landed over there with the six ball. This is the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. Like and follow if you enjoy this. I'm Earl Strickland for the Billiard Network. I guess he'll try to cut this in the side and come back and create something. Because he can't shoot it in the corner because it's too hard to try to get something on the two ball. And he got a combination. If he likes the combination, there's, there isn't much more, to tell you the truth. He could like he could shoot the two into the edge of the six and stop the cue ball and get some kind of safe or slow roll it somehow. I don't see much on the slow roll. He's going to try to cut it between those two, the four and the six, and then just lightly bounce out and use those two to snook room somehow. You know, go between and get back to the nine. I think he sold it, the edge of the ball, maybe. That was a tricky shot he played there. 
Yeah, he did sell the edge, but he couldn't do nothing with it. He didn't do enough with it. He'll just put a lot of right on this and just lightly bank it real slow, like that. Go behind that one, the four or two. He's a tricky kick here. He's just got to kick underneath it. He's got to kick this one really hard because there's nothing there. You got to know when to kick hard sometimes and soft. He needs to kick this one kind of firm. It's hard to do with the rest. And he needed to hit that even harder than that. I mean, it's just like he might have made it then. It was curving a little bit. He'll just put left top and bounce off the bottom row. Come back out in the middle of the table. Like that. Remember, when pros are playing, they want to get perfect, but they just want to get a decent shot and a, and, a bill, and a chance to get position. So don't try to play too perfect. He'll just draw back a little here, a long bridge. Draw back, that was perfect. He hit that nice. It's funny, it seems like the, the, the bed's new and the rails are old on these tables. That's the way it seems every time. But the, the rails are real lively, so I guess they'll hang balls up once in a while that you think it might not hang up. we will draw back a little on this one. Nice draw there. And we'll put a lot of right bottom and draw back for either corner. I think he'll play the one on our top right. A lot of right bottom. And just kill it right there like that. That's the one he played for. And he'll put right bottom on this, and it kills the ball. You'll aim thick on the ball and just kill it right there like that. For you amateur players, you gotta aim thick and spin into the ball and kill it. And he'll just draw, he'll roll this one. He's gonna roll it with straight top. He'll go two rails there and over there. The nine ball is always, there's always a right way to shoot it. Six, four, Dominguez is taking a little bit of a lead, bigger lead here. But this table breaks like a, like a giant big pocket bar table. but it hangs balls up when you shoot them, certain shots. He can see the edge of this, he might cut it right in. Now he's gonna play the safe. And he played a pretty good one too, I think, yeah. Very good, speed on that was ideal. It's gonna be hard to hit this. Oh, he can get just barely, he can, he can get under the seven ball. He's gotta jack up and put a lot of spin on it. He's actually gotta curve the ball a little bit. Oh, he can actually jump and see the edge of the ball. This may be saving him. He might not can hit this ball without the jump cue. Now that I see it from this angle, it's hard to hit that ball going around the seven. Oh, he's, he can hit it like this. That ain't no gimme, I can tell you that. He can go in between the five and the four. Go to the side rail with a lot of right. It'll require a lot of right spin if he's gonna hit the ball, believe me. I mean, it's still tricky. Those two balls, the five and the four, are like bowling balls, isn't it? But he can see the edge of it this way. This may be his easiest way out, and it was. Look at that. That cue is so lucky. I've never seen a cue to jump the cue. Oh. He got a good roll with it every time he jumped with it. He left a tough shot. Drago might just fire this one in. That snooker background, these are like gimmies. Oh! He never missed a ball on me in that match we played in the Whirlpool Masters. He made shots way harder than that. I thought he would make that one, but he's 55, I'm 59. Them shots off the rail are a little tougher now. Right bottom, he'll draw it with a lot of bottom. He can't roll it because the six is in his way. 
Good shot. Very good. Well hit, well struck. He'll shoot this with a lot of bottom and just stop. He'll just kill it right there. Beautiful. Good shot. I don't know if he'll go to the rail, side rail, go two rails and come down, or just draw straight down the table. We'll see. He's going to draw straight down the table. I can tell by the way he's cueing. Like that. Good shot. He'll put a little bit of right top, go two rails. A little bit of an angle on the seven. And I'll just put a lot of right spin and shoot it real slow. And shoot the nine on our right. I know he's going to go around the nine. Make sure it doesn't roll off. I started to say that in the beginning, he's going to go around the nine. But right bottom, just draw off. Seven, four, Dominguez leads. Breaking from the left side, left bottom. Driving the cue ball to the side rail. He got the one in the side. The two ball does not have a pocket. He's got a combination on the eight. Oh, he fouled the break, so it doesn't matter. Trey goes immediately looking at the combination. The safety is, he wants to take on this shot. Wow, he hit it good, too. And he'll draw over. He'll, no, he'll stun the ball. Two rails. Like that. Get for the side or the corner. I don't think he can shoot it in the corner. He's going to have to shoot it in the side and draw to the side rail with left. Hit it hard like that. Oh, he hit that good. Nice shot. That was a gorgeous shot. Now follow it over there, bounce off. Now let's shoot right bottom and draw around the six, draw straight down the table. Now he'll use the rail this time with a little bit of right. Stun it just a little bit. He's so fast, you can't, you gotta hurry up. Left bottom, draw down the table. A little bit of right and just done over. That long bridge is using. That's wild. I never used they use long bridges like that. Seven five. Oscar Dominguez leads. Drago to break. Breaking from the left side. Once he racks them. I haven't seen him do this the whole match. Show him racking. They're usually in a hurry. Usually I ain't got time to even think doing this. Just finished exercising not long ago. 100 and, I broke my old record, 100 days, 106 days ago. Drago broke, left side. Two back made one, legal break. It's got a tough cut on the one. He might with a lot of right bottom and draw around, try to get on the two. Oh, he didn't put enough right on, and he missed the one, too. Wowzers. He could have actually got down there and got out that rack. If he was a, eh, I don't know. He's got to bear down sometimes and a little slower, maybe. Straight top on this, a little bit of left, maybe. Go to the side rail, come down for the two. And I think that's okay. He'll roll forward. He'll, he'll stun real hard into the nine. I think that's what he's got to do. He's got to stun it with a little bit of force and go into the nine ball. Or just roll it real slow and try to feather the cue ball between it and get a shot for the side on the three ball. Or go forward and play the three in the corner. I thought it, it, the cue ball was sitting where it was going to touch the nine a little, but it wasn't. 
I'm gonna shoot this in the side pocket, probably, and put right bottom and stun it to the side rail with some side and kill it off the bottom rail. That's a tricky shot. And he hit it weird. That shot, that shot is real tricky. Or you hit it like that if you don't hit it right. Now he'll just slow roll this in and play the five in the same corner. If he does anything else, I won't believe it. He could shoot it in the other corner, but it doesn't land him right on the five. All he's got to do is make this, and then he'll land right on the five down there. He'll be close to the side rail, but unless he chooses to shoot it harder, that's where he should land, right there. If he shoots it harder, he can go to the side rail, bottom rail, and come back out. But he might snooker himself that way. The prudent play is just to slow roll it in, go to the side rail there, and uh, take the little bit harder shot on the five. That's perfect. He landed it. He didn't get to the rail, and that's perfect. Now he'll just stun over with right. I would use the rail on this shot, but these guys today, they're, they just stun off and don't, never use the rail. Good, he used the rail that time. I'll draw back with left bottom, shoot the seven in the same side pocket. I'm gonna roll forward. I still say that pool's being played the wrong way. We're left bottom on this, we're stunned forward, yeah, stunned forward. Eight to five, Dominguez leads. Left bottom, breaking from the left side. The good break. But will they land right? Uh-oh, the nine ball's hanging up in the pocket down there. Maybe a quickie. He can just bank the one on the nine. Almost a gimme. It's sitting a little bit funny. I would go ahead and hit it firm so that it don't leave a hanger. For the next guy. Or he can just pocket the ball, come down and play the combination on the three, get back to the five nine. He wants to bank it on the nine, go ahead and end it. Huh. He could shoot this in the corner too and just bounce off and then play the combination on the three. The easier shots to shoot it in the corner, he's drawing it somehow. Did that. He never could do that. Draw to the rail. You could just roll this in the side. A little bitty angle so that it gets off for the three. Oh, got that ball was curved. Oh, right bottom. A little bit of a uh, reprieve there. We're just roll it in with right. Now he'll stun back over where he is with right bottom, like that, and then he'll play the five on the nine. This is still no gimme. He's got to pay attention. There you go. He hit it off the thin. <laughs> Eight six. What a big little mis little mistake there. Even though he still has the lead. The way the table's breaking, though, you almost got to think that Drago can break and run out. So, could be eight, seven, for sure. Good possibility. But I still think pool should be played. You know, should have to play against the table. Left bottom, 
Draw on the cue ball. Wow, he didn't make that. Huh. And he fouled the break, I think. You should have to play against the table, not the player. You shouldn't have to play all these silly shots, these kicks and safeties. And you should be just shooting. Just out shooting each other. Like in the Western days. Guy walked in the town, walked in the bar and asked who's the best gun in there. Well, shoot it out. That's the way pools should be. No, we gotta play all these safeties like that. Now I gotta deal with this. Look at the way these pool balls are sitting. How, how do I describe all this? He's gonna kick one rail, kick it kind of firm, I think, with no, since I'm gonna slow roll it. That is genius there. <laughs> he came up with that shot. <laughs> That was the right shot. I would have kicked and tried to stop it with bottom somehow. And he, he came out with that one. That was not a bad play. He'll kick this two rails and try to clip the one and knock it down table. Oh, he hit it going in. I don't really believe he meant to hit that kick like that. Huh. Like he would have clipped it and came down table. He can make it and hit the two now. Maybe create something. He did a little something. The four is still tied up, I think. Maybe he can play down to the safety. He's looking at it in the corner. It goes in the other top corner up there on the right. The four does. He's got to draw out of this somehow, I think. It's spin. Good shot. How good did he hit that? He landed. I would just play the safe right here. I hate this safety, though. I always butcher it. I'm gonna try something, try to draw. Well, it must go. Or he's just gonna try to roll it and play safe and use the five. He's gonna roll it real easy somehow. That shot I wouldn't have played for. I don't... Or he'll thin and go around the seven. That's not impossible. No, can't do that. This angle doesn't tell me much either. He's just trying to just try to roll it and use the five with a little bit of the left. Just tap it. What in the world is he? Hmm, I don't know about that shot. But he wound up giving him nothing, I think. Can't pocket the ball. I think he can play safe, though. Just barely tap it. Or it goes. Oh, it must go. He'll put some, he'll draw it back to the rail or just draw off. Yeah, draw it back to the rail like that. Good shot. That was a uh, kind of a loose mistake by Drago there. He'll put right bottom just below center and go two rails. He'll draw past the nine. Like that. And then he'll put right bottom, I mean left bottom, and draw past the nine again. I don't know, he'll go to the side rail over there, I think. He'll go all the way to the side rail, two rails like that. Now he'll put left, just below center with left. He'll pop the ball a little bit. Well, he rolled it. He was scared to put the stun on it, wasn't he? He'll just roll this in with a little bit of right. Come straight down the table, shoot the nine on the side. Now, if he did anything else there, I wouldn't believe it. Just roll it in or stop right there, stun it in. Oscar Dominguez wins nine to six over Tony Drago. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to the Billiard Network for more great pool action from around the world. I'm Earl Strickland saying goodbye. <laughs>